Yo, what's up guys? Co Reefing here. Just making a video on some aquarium air pumps. I do live in a new neighborhood. My electricity sometimes goes out. So I got these just in case. I did have a power outage, I wanna say a couple weeks ago. And I was not prepared for it at all. I did get both of these. I have two of them, one here and one here. I did get both of these on Amazon. Just opening these up for the first time here with you guys. So uh, this seems to be coming with some sort of tubing. Of course, it's airline tubing. And the cool thing about these that I liked is that they are battery powered. If your power goes out, you, you don't have access to electricity. And in here, it seems like we have some sort of air stone little bubbles. They're kind of cool. And I'll show you guys a video of it after I set it up and have them working in the tank. Um, obviously, this is just going to be used for emergencies, so I will not leave it in there long term. That's what she said. And then this is... Uh, just in case there's a back siphon from the air stone itself that's with inside of the tank going back to the air pump because you don't want water going back into this pump because it's pushing air out. So what this does, and if I remember correctly, and these usually have like a little arrow. I don't know if you guys can see it here, but oh yeah, mm, there, maybe a little bit right here. You guys can see the arrow. That is the direction of the airflow. So the airline will connect here and then I'll have tubing connect going from this end to the air stone so that if water does get all the way to this point, it actually pushes this piece of plastic up against this ledge and will it will stop it right there. Water won't go past uh, that tubing to your air pump. Then in here we have the air pump itself, it's pretty small. I mean, I wanna say, I don't know, maybe three inches by like, I don't know, an inch and a half too. It's cool, it has some little feet. You can clip it on something. And it seems to have a little screen protector. I'm just gonna take this off. Some ASMR right there for you guys. Like I said, this is battery powered. So, comes with its little charger. I don't know if it comes charged already. And I think it does. So I just held that for two seconds and I feel air coming out of here. So that's cool. I wonder if that bar up here is the battery life. I think it's just on and off. The charging port is here on the left side. It's one of those that like, oh, you think you got it, but you really don't. Years of academy training wasted. So I'll get that here in a second. And that's it guys. Air supply line, charging port. Okay, cool. So two seconds, if you hold two seconds, that turns it on. I'm not quite sure what that light on the right side indicates but um, that goes on after you just press it once and then the last time oh okay oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my so i think if that light is on it might do like increments so like it might go for 30 seconds and stop for 30 seconds and then go for 30 seconds again i'm gonna wait a little bit to see if it turns back on without me doing anything and it did so that is in fact what that does that when that light is on it does a pulse for i want to say maybe 20 seconds on 20 seconds off and or 10 seconds since that just went back off so again you just hit it again and all the lights mean all the lights off means that it's off so that is this one of course it comes with its Instructions manual. Mm. 
let's check this out. Since I don't have to charge it or anything, it, hopefully it's gonna be pretty quick. 20 minutes later. All right guys, here is the second one that I purchased. Um, I do have two tanks. Um, like you guys well know, I have the 25 gallon water box peninsula upstairs. And downstairs I do have my 80 gallon lagoon from Innovative Marine. So I think this might be the smaller one. I'm not quite sure. I'd have to go back to see which one is smaller. Actually, nope, this is the bigger one guys. The difference between this one and the previous one I showed you is that this one actually has two um, airline supplies. No batteries. You do have to charge it. Uh, the charging port on this one's on this right side here. I do like the fact that they did include that little, that little ledge right here so that you can grab it and actually pull the charging port out and have access to that because the other one did not. So here on this one does have a couple other buttons. Again, you can clip it to something if you want on the back uh, and has three buttons here. So let's go ahead and hit the start button or the power button. And that seems to be working on both. Um, again, this timer with a blue light indicator. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, it's probably pulsing. Yep, it's pulsing. I just turned off, and it sure turned turn back on here in a second. But I will turn that off. It's a constant. And this up and down. So it has two different settings of air pressure. I'm not sure if you guys can hear this, but that one's lower this one's a little bit higher and then to turn it off you just hold that power button so these are claimed to last i think from 15 to 25 hours i'm not quite sure um obviously on the lower setting it probably lasts longer and then even longer if you pulse it because it's not constantly running so I think with a full charge, um, like I said, you might get 15 to 25 hours. Um, I will leave the link in the description below so that you guys can check these out in case you want one. I got it because, like I said, I did have a power outage the other day. It only lasted, I want to say, two hours. I don't know. You want to be prepared for stuff like that, and you don't want to be the one going back to your tank every 20 minutes just to kind of get some water flow in the tank and check on it to make sure everything's everything's kind of alive so i think this will definitely help in emergencies amen why not why not right what do you guys think what do you guys use um, this one did come with two airline tubes because it has two air supply lines so this one also comes with couple air stones comes with the charger itself and well oh, this is kind of cool it comes with a little Y I wonder what that's for maybe you can connect both of the lines into this and only feed one air stone versus having just one line kind of doing nothing at the pump if you only want one running. I don't know. I'm always gonna have two. I'll always have the two air stones. Like these are check valves, so that air goes one way, water does not go the other. So let's set these up and see how they look in the tank.
still looking nice. And I still have anemones walking all over the place. 